Side B was like so fast, it was just like a machine gun, like bop, 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 bop. So, so good. And if they got like. But trash recovery. Imagine like actually six, trash recovery. Imagine six purples uh, and just. The dream lineup. <laughs> and like, you know what's crazy in Brawl? Purple used to have a kill throw too. So like you get hit by yeah. purple or just like purple had a grab kill yeah. throw too. It was like crazy, dude. But we're not playing Brawl. You know, RIP yeah. that game. I, I had a lot of fun playing it, but yeah. honestly not the greatest I still game. think about <laughs> it on occasion. And, uh, you know, I'm sure uh, some of the Almars. They still think about it too, but yo, yeah. yo, but all, yo, all my players they rejoicing in this game. But yeah, they all are a very definite meta threat in yeah. this game. Uh, most people will put all are in their top five. Uh, just the character in general, the uh, the aerials in Smash Four used to be counted as item priority, right. which means if like both, if you swung in Smash Four and someone else swung their hitbox, you would just always lose. But right. in this game, um, they count as sword hitboxes, so the Pikmin getting buffed in the sense of the aerials. The smash attacks still count as an item priority, but uh, that in itself was a big buff. And then Olimar's damage output is absolutely crazy in this game. Uh, you can combo up smash into either another up smash or a bunch of up airs, platform extensions as well. So the character just has a lot of damage output. You know, you're like low-key a sword character, and then you also have a projectile game as well. Right. And yeah, you want to talk about DPS from a character coming out. We see Olimar put like... 100 damage in and 10 Especially seconds. Especially if you get like a white. Yeah. And, and that's the cool thing about Almar. There's so many different Pikmins and they do, they have all these different properties depending on what move you do with them and stuff like that. Um, very intricate character and very, like, a lot of people will say, like, oh yeah, just switch switch your C stick to Smash Stick and spam Smash <laughs> Attacks and you'll be a good Almar. It actually takes a lot more than that because you have to be aware of your lineup. And then on the other side of it too, you get an Almar off stage and all those people saying that Almar. Uh, it's super easy. I'd like to see them navigate some of those situations where you don't have a hitbox on your recovery and they can just go after you and uh, chase after you. It's like good luck teching pretty much is the story of that recovery. Let's see. It'd be a shame. Oh, my God. Is he going Ness? <laughs> so he spent all the time talking about he did he play Ness in Smash 4. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Asa did have a Ness in Smash 4. And Ness honestly did get... I think Ness, this might be one of Ness's best games because yeah. of the directional air dodge buff. This character has one of the best directional air dodges in the game. Might be a button check. Unless they have just like extremely safe neutral. Uh, Yo, I like it that. Neutral. <laughs> I, I like that um, a lot of the link mains, they'll use like the hearts as their tag. It, it's so cool. Oh yeah, just a little shout out to the old school uh, Legend of Zelda. They gotta get some more hearts. They gotta beat some more shrines or something. Yeah, man. yeah. Get some Dang upgrades, man, you only so. got three hearts? Dang man. <laughs> Uh, it's the but, start. They're just fresh out of the China Resurrection, uh, but somehow having the champions, uh, the champions tunic. So, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is canon, but it feels like it. So of course we got Asa rocking the nest, coming from Texas, um, and then we also have Arrow, a SoCal resident, was a Link main in Smash 4, also maining Link in this game. Why not? Link has in received incredible buffs in this game and is a much better character. Uh, so yeah, Arrow still sticking it with the Link. And, you know, like I said, from the area of SoCal, so we got some of that local talent coming out. So we'll see how both these players face off against each other. Yeah, I'm uh, most interested to see, like, whenever a Link's on the screen, a lot of it boils down to their utilization of that bomb just being, you know, the new setup tool, being able to put it on and explode it on command. It's Dude, like, that uh, bomb does JVC everything. Four? Yeah. It's pretty much like the core of the character. Yeah. And it, it's really cool because that was a very important item in Breath of the Wild that you have to use to navigate through a bunch of dungeons and stuff. Yeah. So I really like how they changed up um, the Link and, you know, cause like for the most part, Link was a lot of like Young Link, all the other previous Links. So it, it, it was really cool to see a change of pace and just see a lot of new itemization and a lot, just pretty much a, essentially like a whole revamp of a character, right. you know, being that Breath of the Wild Link. And, you know, everyone loves that game. That game was such a great game and very, very popular as well. So it's really cool to see that character in Smash Brothers. Yeah, I revamped everything from the bomb all the way down to the grab. So, you know, definitely some new things to work around. And on the other side, Ness, as you're talking about air directional air dodge revamp, the PK fire is so good in this game. I yeah, cannot it, believe it. <laughs> they definitely buffed that move a lot. It has a lot less cooldown. Um, it's just a really good projectile now. Right. And it was like a decent projectile in four, but in this game, oh man, dude, it's it's a really good move. And one of the biggest weaknesses about Ness in every single title was the fact that he barely had any recovery mix-ups. It was essentially like, what is this Ness gonna do with their double jump? Are they gonna double jump air dodge or double jump swing? And that was like literally the coin flip. Now in this game, they can double jump directional air dodge. You can just do a directional air dodge. And directional air dodge 
has about like two thirds of a range of your up B. So yeah. most of the time, if the Ness is like playing really well, they can just directional air dodge to the ledge, and that move has no startup. The reason why it's so easy to edge guard Ness is because you know he starts his up B, he doesn't go anywhere, and he has to hit himself <laughs> with the up B. That whole time you can just smack him for free. Yeah. So now with the directional air dodge, much harder to react to, and you can just do it towards the ledge. It's instant, so it's a lot harder to hit that. You almost have to read it. And they're getting ready to open up into game one. Let's see what's going to be more important. That bomb setups we're talking about or the new recovery from Ness. Who's going to take it? Game one opening arrow versus uh, Asa. I guess it's going by a different tag it looked like on the uh, on the stream lineup. But he's Asa to us and by heart. So, <laughs> And he's opening it up right now and putting it in. And here we go. Uh, the bombs are out. And this is what we were waiting for. Oh, that's another thing that got buffed about Ness is the Psy Magnet has a hitbox. And you actually, it's like a comboing hitbox. Yeah. So you can like jump or double jump um, Psy Magnet into like a back air or a nair. It's actually kind of crazy. Uh, Ness's combo game is pretty wild in this game. Oh, but no double jump here on Asa. Directional air dodge. And look at that ledge grab. That was so far. <laughs> that was so far. And he's able to make it back in. Get right back into the neutral. So it might have even caught, you know, Arrow a little bit off guard. Uh, Ness not one of the most common characters in the metagame for sure. So something I think people will start to figure out how to edge guard around that, but uh, missed the tech and gets a down smash for it. Yeah, and we also see Asa being a little tricky with that side magnet. He's canceling his double jump. So um, you can double jump, and at any point, if you side magnet, it'll cancel your momentum on your jump. And we see Asa just setting up a bunch of tricky situations here. Oh, but the back air is going to seal it out. Asa trying to swing his way through, but the back air is going to beat out that forward air. Yeah, clean, uh, clean edge guard, get that back air, and right back through it. And got the projectiles, projectile wall coming out and letting the game come to him. Uh, that was the start, you know. It, it took a little bit of work, but he was able to get the lead, and now it's just a matter of letting Asa take the game to him as opposed to trying to do anything too crazy. Arrow just playing it very patient at this point. Maybe oh, even yeah. letting him get uh, Asa get the better, but oh, good bomb recovery to get back. He now we talked about, yeah, and we talked about bomb pretty much the do all stay off for Link, and oh, unfortunate SD there coming out from Arrow probably was trying to do a bomb recovery, but that bomber is also great for ledge trapping and also recovering as we've seen as well. He doesn't have access to the tether, but that bomb recovery is so good. And trying to drop the bomb to clip the uh, PK Thunder. We didn't quite get it spaced correctly, but a good idea. I'm sure we'll see that, uh, you know, that might be the go-to play for him overall if he can force him off stage. The, the threat of the bomb so potent in the minds of the opponent. And Arrow just, Arrow just doing his best. To, oh, gets a force smash. Does not clip the second hit though. That's the one that kills. That would have been a big pickup. Yeah, he's, he's fishing pretty hard for this forward smash right now. So, so <laughs> close. Oh, wait, and there's the PK Thunder juggle, and that's another great thing about Ness. Because you only have that one directional air dodge, it can be pretty pesky to deal with that upbeat. That's uh, Shades of Nikita coming out from Snake, PK Thunder from Ness. Uh, oh, all, yeah. these, all these uh, controllable special attacks that chase you, it's uh, no fun if you're off stage. Especially with Link, uh, not the best recovery in the world in terms of, you know, uh, fall speed and things like that. Just kind of has to help a boomerang no, double cover jump. Him. Oh my goodness, he was so close to hitting the PKT2, which is pretty much when Ness hits himself with that, pretty much his recovery. But yeah. when you hit someone with it, you hit him with the PKT2. Yeah, it's like a truck does so much damage. And, you know, we were saying the arrow had jumped out to a big lead, and Ass has done a very good job of closing the gap. Gets the neutral air, has him off stage. Hey, right. Run off Nair. Yeah. Oh, but there's oh, okay. a down smash. And now the yo-yo hangs below the ledge. So we right. see a lot of Nesses actually utilize that with the up smash, with the down smash, but with the trade while both players losing their second stock there. Got a DBC <laughs> moment, got an even matchup. They just both exploded off the stage. It looked like I saw a back air from Ness, but I wasn't sure what came out from like maybe an up tilt. Yeah, probably in some, some kind of tilt. Oh, that's just oh, trouble. He has him off stage. 74 damage. Got hit by so much. He was in that PK fire the whole Forever. entire time. I actually got scared. I thought Asa was going to run off and do the down air special. Look yeah. at how much damage he's getting off of these specials. Asa is doing such a great job of utilizing these specials and utilizing it in disadvantage as well. There's the up. He had a shield, but not too much damage, not too much knockback. And an arrow is controlling the center stage, but Asa still with this great lead. Yeah, he's, got a, he's leveraging this uh, lead that he has to try to get in that one throw, you know. At the, oh, no, that's no. A, oh, no. And for the most part, you can do that because his ledge grab is so far away, but right. also was just out of range. Such an unfortunate SD. Yeah, the magnets on um, the magnet hands not fully charged. Just didn't get, yeah. get the yeah. clip from, you know. And 
Normally, that's what you're saying that's just a safe option. They just throw the Peaky Thunder out, put a little hitbox to cover their, uh, you know, the recovery in. But unfortunately, didn't grab the ledge, lost the stock in. He had so much. He had a lead. He had momentum. It's unfortunate yeah, overall yeah. for Asa. I mean, like Arrow was bringing it back. Yeah. But like, still, he at the end of the day, he still was up like 30, 40 percent. Right. And he had the momentum. But it looks yeah, he just like he needed one grab to get uh, some back throw. I was gonna say, as he gets to the late percent, so y'all know the Nest Classic waiting for that back throw. Sooner oh, or later yeah. comes for all of us. And uh, speaking of Ness back throw, we are here at Yoshi Island Brawl, a very <laughs> controversial stage because of the slants, but um, no ban coming out from Arrow, so Asa going to take advantage of this, going to bring this counter pick. And the thing about both Yoshi stages is they have very small blast zones. So we're going to see the Ness back throw actually kill very, very early on this stage. But he's got to get the damage first, and right now Arrow looking like he has in the driver's seat for both the damage and the kills. That forward tilt killing so early. Yeah, just control neutral the entire exchange and picked up a clean forward tilt. Didn't look like uh, also had really many options that he could work through other than just kind of trying to wait it out and mitigate the damage. And he's right back to it. He's off stage and oh my God, I think he's gonna reverse up B, try to edge guard that way. Also trying to line up the down smash, but not close enough to the legend already. Arrow lapping him in percent, but here comes Asa striking back. And Arrow just controls center stage again, and you know, Asa, this is starting to turn into a little bit of a laugher. He's able to, oh, he's able to get back. Almost got that PK Thunder to connect. Hey, letting on the center platform their own. There's the side magnet combos I was talking about. Ooh, the down smash! Catching that normal get up. That move lasts so long, especially if you charge it like that, how Asa. Yeah, it's kind of maybe a little mental lapse right there from Arrow. You can get through that yo-yo option. As long as you just hit get up attack, pretty much it'll cover you because you're invincible until the hitbox comes out. Oh, the Z-drop from the Arrow. Really, really great stuff coming out from, uh, you know, when you're tagged Arrow, you got to have the Arrow tech, right? <laughs> but Asa still trying to control this. It is two talks of peace, but right now, Asa definitely at that percentage deficit. But Holy he's doing a little bit. Uh, yeah, starting to claw his way back. Oh, the up smash connects, though. Unfortunate dash tag. I thought he cleared enough space, you know, on the crossover, but the arrow is able to connect the up smash. Takes the stock. Here we go. He's on his, uh, you know, he has Asa on his last stock. Maybe able to close out this in a game two and not make it a game three. Because as we were saying, you know, in the first game, Arrow had so much momentum. Oh, he oh, got the bounce recovery. Almost tricky. Oh. Almost caught him with the PK Thunder, too. Yeah, that was very, very scary. But no double jump here on Asa. Oh, and there's, there's a Piggy Thunder, too. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the scary thing about going off stage versus Ness. Now, before, you could always just tech that. But now, because that move is so strong, if you mess up, you're going to get stage spiked. And for the most part, you're probably not going to be able to tech it. Oh, the up smash barely living that. Asa needs to get some damage on. But right now, Arrow just doing such a good job of controlling the center stage. Yeah, just Ness not having enough range to contend with the sword is kind of giving Asa a little bit of fits. Good Arrow to put him in a bad situation. Not oh, enough to recover. Not Man. enough and just not, like, not going to have the range there. Barely, barely falling short. Like you said, the magnets not coming <laughs> through in this game. But uh, great, great set by Arrow. Great 2-0. I just feel like that 